Hi guys, it's Anthony once again coming back to you with another video for the Northern American Rugby League. If you're liking these videos, please like and subscribe. Spread that word to everyone uh, that you know so that we can give you all the information that you need for the R North American Rugby League. So, like, subscribe and click that notification bell for any time a new video pops up. So I'm coming to you today with the two little bits of information. Um, it's only a short video this time. So um, thank you very much for watching. The first in, uh, bit of information that we have is from um, the, no the North American Rugby League East side, the Washington DC Cavalry Rugby League, or DC Cavalry Rugby League is what they're, trying, what they're going for at the moment. Um, they have announced on their Twitter page, their Facebook page, and also their um, their Instagram pages about uh, their Combine Day, the 2021 Combine Day, which is like what we call a trial day, an open trial for anyone who wants to come down and get involved in Rugby League. Now, it's happening on the 8th and 9th of May, and are uh, being held at uh, Jenny Dean Park, 2601 Prince William Street in Manassas, Virginia. Uh, the, so the start times are 9 a.m. Uh, for both days, and you can register early uh, to get to these combines uh, on uh, by getting in touch with Ryan Burroughs at R Burroughs Bravo Uniform Romeo Romeo Oscar Uniform Golf Hotel Sierra at dccavalryrugby.com you'll be able to find that information on their Instagram page so go and follow them if you are in the Washington area uh, well, Virginia area specifically Manassas send an email you never know you might end up playing on TV for a professional rugby league team in North America so what they're asking for people to get uh, to su supply them in the email is their full name, their address, the telephone number, date of birth, and their position of what they want to play or have played in either rugby league or rugby union. Um, they're just trying to get the get the games on. They're trying to get players in, uh, people with a decent quality, hopefully as well, uh, or people with potential to have that decent quality. Uh, it's all positive. And it could be you that could be involved. So if you're in the Manassas area, Virginia, Washington, doesn't matter. And you can make it down to uh, Genie Park, uh, Genie Dean Park. Get in touch with that email address, what I've just mentioned to you, because then you could be the next star of a North American Rugby League. Wow, what are you waiting for? It's a free email, and it's a trip, and you could be being paid to play rugby league in North America. I know I keep saying that, but it's the new ground. It's a new horizon for Rugby League. So, let's hope that you guys love it as much as I do. And you t and you guys all take to it. It's like dust to water. So, thank you very much for listening to this part. Part 2 will be coming to you in a few moments. Okay, guys. I did say I'll come back with a lit uh, for a, a part two of this video, and it is a little bit of a concern, and it concerns Luc Lacoste, the president, the newest president of the French Federation of Rugby in uh, obviously France. Um, he had, I did a little bit of a, a, a video for a profile that he did with LoveRugbyLeague.com, and um, he seemed very up very positive about the actual um, forward thinking that he had for the French Rugby League um, but unfortunately um, we're finding out that um, he actually uh, Mr Lacoste uh, is in intensive care in a Paris hotel at this point uh, following a heart attack he became ill on his in his home, according to the reports uh, yesterday, uh, which on this report was the seventh of the fourth, twenty twenty one, that the report was released. So sixth of the fourth, twenty twenty one, was when he ca uh, became ill, and um, has been in a Parisian hospital, uh, 
in the intensive care unit and receiving treatment and there's they're saying that there's concerns about him um, I recently did a um, a little bit of, like I said on the love rugby league.com uh, interview about him and how positive it sounded from what he did but we just we have found out that he well since we found out that he'd been ill um, all, can, all things have gone to the side while we're waiting for Mr. Lucas to become able well hopefully get through this um, critical situation and uh, on a personal note it does hit home for me uh, in regards to ha um, heart attacks and things like that um, and, um, my father is suffering from um, blocked arteries and he's under the care of a um, heart surgeon at the moment uh, has been like that for the last couple of uh, three years and um, in, the, in November I actually lost my stepfather to um, well, which turned out to be a ruptured artery in his heart. Um, so, I'm wishing Miss, um, Mr. Lacoste all the best, so that the, he can get through this as much as quickly as possible. I'm sure he's getting the best care that he can um, get in Paris. Um, it's not too far from his home, from what I'm, what I'm um, assuming, but. He was at home when he felt ill, and um, yeah, emergency uh, emergency operators were called, and then I and he was taken to the Parisian hotel uh, hospital to get treatment. It would be weird if he got it in the hotel, but they made movies about that. So I'm trying to be a bit light-hearted, but it does. I know it don't work on that one. Um, so for this, for this. From all the rugby league family, I'm sure, uh, and also uh, French, uh, the French Federation of Rugby League as well. Um, we're wishing you, Mr. Lacoste, all the all the best and a speedy recovery. We look forward to seeing you um, tell us how your dream is going to come about for French rugby league and rugby league as a whole, because you certainly will push people into that sort of situation. Anyway, I'll just say thank you very much for um, listening to me. Thank you very much for your time. Please like and subscribe to these videos if you like all the information that's coming out. Um, I will catch you again. Enjoy. Bye now.